Welcome to a video from thedigitallife.com. We have a new build of Windows 10 for phones, Windows 10 Mobile, available to test. This is build 14322, which is a redstone build of Windows 10, and there's quite a lot of features to talk about in this in this video, which is nice. So, get straight off with um, Action Center and Notifications. So when you go to Actions and Notifications, you'll see here how the Things are grouped together, so there's email grouped together, there's a SharePoint one, and I'll try and simulate getting another notification. So I'll try and simulate a notification coming through, there we go. You see, get a notification like that, um, I should get a Tweetium notification I think as well, as well as a Twitter notification, there we go. So notice how you pull down now, you've got actionable, That's we've seen that before. If I go to Action Center now, you'll see that apps are grouped together like so I've got uh, email there, I've got Twitter there, Tweetium there and so on so all these and they're actionable as well, well Tweetium is anyway, the, um, Twitter isn't but they're all grouped together so you all your emails together, all your tweets together and so on so it's a much better way of seeing all your uh, notifications together in one area also to go along with these notifications we've got um, notifications that can come up with an image so I think you have to share a page or something like that to this work so what I'm going to do is go to this web page go to share and share it with Cortana which is going to create me a reminder in Cortana and it should bring the image in and then the image uh, there we go there I've created a reminder there now that doesn't seem to have brought the image in I was hoping to do. Microsoft Post shows that um, they had an image in with there, so maybe I'll try something different for that. So, like this. So I'm going to a picture, share it, and one of the options is Cortana. There you go. So it's created a reminder with that picture. So I've created a reminder. Let's save that, That's, I'm trying to get it so it triggers it in a, shortly, so we've done that. Okay, so we'll see what that looks like shortly. So that's the changes in Action Center and we'll see the reminder hopefully in a moment as well. And you can see you can get those extra reminders. Now there's our reminder popped up, now you see it's got the image there. Um, so there we've got a reminder with an image and I can complete that really good so nice nice little notification way now talking of action center you can customize this a bit better now uh, I'll go to the settings app and we're going to personalization and also we've got these icons here now which we didn't have before which is new but we've got navigation bar this is the new option vibrate navigation bar and double tap to turn off that wasn't there before it was somewhere else I think so while we're here I'll show that the glance screen has been moved from extras into here um, so you can set the glance screen. The only thing that is missing it seems to be you've, you've got the option of setting the glance screen That's the the screen where it just shows the information. I'll show you in a sec um, You can set it on timer or always on. There used to be a way of setting it so it was on when there's power Which made more sense and that's not there anymore So hopefully I'll bring that back because I use that on my phone at night. So that's the glance screen and um, Yeah, there's that's what the glance screen looks like and I like that using that as in sort of a clock at night So that option is gone now uh, but it makes sense to move it into the main settings. Right, so go back to notifications actions on here. Here you can see the expanded view of the actions from the top. And what I can do now is I can change these around. So the Wi Fi one's fine there, but let's say I use the, the flashlight one and camera one I prefer up here and so on so you can rearrange those to however you want while we're in settings we'll have a look at the new battery settings there's a new look to this screen with a single entry point and you can still look at detail app usage and like you can do in the PC version you can set how these apps are allowed to run so managed by Windows so you can always run in the background or never 
Oh, speaking of action center as well, I also, you see this has changed now. I've now got that where I had the L settings. I prefer the other way around, so I have to change that. Uh, you can now set up uh, priorities in notifications like you can do on the PC build. So I'm going to an app. Let's go to, say, alarm clock. And you can say whether the notifications are on or and all that kind of thing. And here, this is the priorities of that. So really, alarm clock for me should be the top. So let's put that at the top. Well, Coltana is actually currently at the top. It's asking me if I prefer this. No, I don't actually. I'd... Let's set this as high. And I only want to see three alarms. That's fine. Or let's go to one that, let's see, eBay. Yeah, that's fine and normal. I only want to see, I don't want to see five of those. So you've got that uh, customization options that you didn't previously have. Other improvements, Microsoft say in Edge there is improved uh, better copy and paste. Let's have a look at that. So there you go, you see the copy button. The copy button appears when you double tap on a word or select a word. I think they've also made it faster for when you paste in word uh, values in as well like that. Uh, instead of improved tab behavior, um, so if you click on a link in an app that opens a new tab, you can press the back button and it will close the tab. But what I really wanted to show was the changes to the lock screen, which is something that's been coming a while. So I've got some music playing, and uh, let's start some music playing. I'm going to turn the phone off and go to lock screen. I can pause it, go back and forward, just as you can. Um, by normally you, you press the volume button to do it. So you can see there you can pause it and it's great in the car actually when you when I use the um, the music in the car you can just you just have to tap the screen the button to turn it on and then um, you've got the play and pause and I've got mine in the cradle so it's nice and easy and safe. Also you noticed on there as well it's camera buttons there. No back button anymore. It doesn't make any sense to go back from the lock screen, you can just go straight to the camera and it takes a picture. Well, it goes to the camera screen anyway. There's a long list of fixes. Uh, I, probably, I won't go through all those now. I suggest you read a post on thedigitallifestyle.com with those. Um, it's a really long list of fixes, lots of different things. So if you're an issue, then uh, if you've got an issue, then you can check that. The issue with the Microsoft Band not working that was on older builds has been fixed as well. There is quite a few issues with this. Currently, Tweetium doesn't work at all. Well, it kind of does. It brings up um, notifications and it brings up, you can read posts, I think, no you can't even read posts. So basically it's just like showing you some of it and none of these work and even when you quit nothing works so it's not working uh, very well. Also the Facebook Messenger uh, may fail from the start menu, you've got to actually go into the Facebook app and launch it from there. Um, there's issues with the camera roll and um, duplicate apps in all apps and again you can look on the digitallifestyle.com with a full list of issues. Um, but so far I found this pretty good apart from the um, glance screen issue I have found when you turn it off sometimes that the light there for the face recognition stays on uh, but it's not done that recently. It has locked up on me a couple of times but uh, so far today it's been a little bit better. So those are all the changes, or those are the highlights of the changes in this release. There's quite a lot when you look at the post, there's some emoji changes as well. So have a look at the post on the digitallifestyle.com with all the full details, but you can go back on our YouTube ch channel and see all the earlier builds. Um, thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you on the digitallifestyle.com.